What are we up to, Kelly? You keep telling me like, oh, I know what you're up to. But what is it? What do you have on me, huh? You don't think I know what goes on in my village? Your village? Um, it's not... You know what? I'm not even gonna get into it. Just tell me what you supposedly know. I know that you're trying to make Adam jealous by dating Ned. What? I mean, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, Kelly. How did you know? How did you figure it out? I'm just telling you right now that no matter what you do, Adam's never gonna want you back. <laughs> Kelly, I've long moved on from that. Like, if you still think I like Adam, like, you've got issues. You gotta stop being so jealous. I'm letting you know right now that Adam is happy and that I love him and he loves me. Whoa, did you just use the word love? What? I didn't know this was about love to you, Callie. I thought you were only with Adam for the power, you know, so you could take the village away from him and all that stuff. I didn't I didn't know your cold heart was capable of love. I'm more than capable of love, and I love him, and him and I are going to live a happy life in this house that you're building for us. Okay. I don't know why you're telling me all of this, Callie. Like um Ned and I are just friends. We're not dating. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. I wasn't trying to make Adam jealous at all because, like I said, I moved on from that. So I don't know why you're telling me this. I'm just letting you know that whatever you're trying, it's not working. All right, and I'm just telling you that I'm not trying anything, okay? Yes, you might have caught Ned and I flirting here and there, but it wasn't to try to break up your marriage. I understand now very clearly that you are here to stay and that you're going to take over this village and I'm just going to step aside and let you do your thing. You better now get back to work on my house. Well, she's a little grumpy pants today, isn't she? But maybe it's a good thing that she thought I was trying to flirt with Ned instead of, you know, trying this master plan to kill her. Um, which had me a little bit worried because <laughs> that would have definitely not been a good thing at all. Um, but yes, I better get back to work on her house and stuff. Oh, and I had come up with this genius idea on how to kill her because don't think I've forgotten. No, I haven't. None at all. So I thought, you know, I'm building your house, right? What if I set up some kind of trap, you know, where maybe when one day she goes to lay down in the bed, the bed blows up with TNT underneath it and then she dies. But then I thought, I've been the only one working on this house. If I do that, it's going to be way too obvious that it was me. And everyone's going to know that I killed her. Everyone's going to suspect me at least. And I don't want that. And then Adam's going to for sure think it was me because he knows how I feel about her. And even though I think he wants her gone, I don't think he's really up for killing her, you know? Um, so still got to come up with a better plan. I, I can't make it be so obvious and I can't physically have anything to do with it. I can't stab her. I can't be the one that takes her out into the desert and kills her because if it's anything like that, it's all going to come back to me. I can't hire anyone to kill her because then they're always going to have that hanging over me, like threatening me like, oh, if you do this or if you don't do that, I'm going to tell everybody that you had me kill Callie. So that's out of the, you know, equation and stuff. So I've still got to try to come up with a better plan. It's everything, it seems so simple until I think things through and I'm like, nope, that's just not going to work out. But I definitely have to say, I'm shocked she says she loves Adam. If that is true, which is hard to believe because she's a cold-hearted person and she has no heart. Um, I think things are going to get a lot more complicated for me. Because I think she's playing nice with me right now because she knows that Adam likes me as a friend or whatever it might be. She knows Adam has some kind of feelings for me. So she can't be straight out mean to me because then it makes her look bad to Adam. If she really likes him, that's why she's being nice to me and it explains why she's not like super, super evil with me right now. Um, but if she doesn't, why would she claim that? And why would she be so worried about me making him jealous? 
that's just it, it all seems so random and out there so all i really have left because i'm not gonna furnish her house she could do that herself um is i need to make the floor all white and then for the ceiling because these are just gonna be towers i'm gonna build these up about yeah about that high i think and then the ceiling for the rest of the house is gonna start here so basically it's gonna be all white which is perfect because she's insane and she needs to be in an insane asylum. So I'm going to put her in one, but she's not going to know it. Instead, she's going to think it's a beautiful house made out of beautiful, expensive quartz. But secretly, I'm just putting her in in a little cuckoo house. Uh, but I'm getting tired. I feel like I need a little break. I always feel like I, this takes a lot of work. It takes it out of me to do all of this. You know, it's exhausting. People think it's easy to build a house. No, 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 no. It's not. But I think I'm going to be running out of... No, I still have quite a few left. I think I should just finish placing all of these first. And then I'm going to take a break. <sighs> Alright, so... I used the rest of the quartz to finish off part of the floor and part of the roof for the ceiling, whatever. So, I'm done for today. <laughs> I think I need a little break. I deserve it. And uh, Callie's been... Oh, okay for being the evil person that she is lately. I don't want to say she's been nice because it's not nice. She's just minding her own business for once. So I'm just going to go relax, maybe have something to eat, see what Remy's up to. Oh, hey Remy. Hello. Hey Zai, have you heard the really exciting news? No, I've been at work. What's the super exciting news? Well, guess what? Richard? asked me to be his girlfriend oh <gasps> really oh my gosh i had no idea at all i didn't speak to him at all i i just wow that's good isn't that what you wanted yeah for sure i guess that's why he had been acting a little bit weird i don't know why he was so shy to ask me that's how guys are you know remy sometimes they're just like they, they they kind of they're they're weird sometimes all right they're just they're a little bit strange we don't understand them that's why that's why we're women and they're men because they're just confusing but i'm really happy for you now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend i thought maybe we could get our own place together wait whoa 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 remy you want to move in with him you guys just became boyfriend and girlfriend and now you want to talk about moving in well yeah we can't just live with you forever and you know i'm getting older i don't want to just stay at your place so why don't we become neighbors and you get your own house but richard doesn't have to live with you you're an independent woman still i just thought it would be better plus i'm scared of the dark and bugs and a lot of things so then like if he's there with me he could just handle those situations for me yeah, good point. But I think maybe you guys should hold off on it, talk about it a little bit first. You know, figure it out. Do you think he's not going to want to move in? <laughs> no, it's not that, Fremmy. I just think it's a little bit soon. That's it. And like I said, if you want to get your own place by yourself, we can still be neighbors, so we're always close to each other. That's absolutely fine. But I think to move in together after just being boyfriend and girlfriend for like, two hours is not long enough you know moving in together is a big commitment yeah i guess you're right but anyway you know my birthday is also coming up and i thought you know you're a really good house builder can you build me a house <laughs> i'm not an architect i can't just build you a house i'm not a good builder either but you promised to build me a shop a long time ago and you never did that so i thought maybe you could build me a house instead Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, ugh. Fine, I'll do it. But on one condition, you live on your own for a little while before you invite Richard to live with you. Maybe, I really want him to move in. Okay, at least promise to have a serious discussion with him first, okay? I've got to finish um, Callie's little crazy mansion thing and then I'll start working on your house, I promise. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Zai. I love you. I love you too, even though you drive me crazy. Oh my gosh, I need to find Richard right now because I don't think he knows what he just got himself into. I hate meddling in the relationship, but he needs to know what he just did. Where is he? I thought I saw him off here somewhere. Um, let's see, hopefully, oh, I, is that him? Oh, perfect. I, what, do I even talk to him? Should I just leave it alone and mind my own business? I really don't, I, I need to tell him because what if what if he doesn't want to move in 
and then and he's gonna get like bombarded with this question like let's move in together what is he gonna say i need to give him some time to prepare he's my son after all i need to talk to him i really do i need to just be brave hey richard um I, do you have some time to talk yeah what's up mom um, I found out that you told Remy that, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend now. <laughs> Congratulations. So happy for you. But, um, did you guys talk about anything else? No. Why? Well, <laughs> oh, please don't tell Remy I told you this. But, um, she has it in her head that she, um, how do I put this? She wants to move in with you. Really? Oh my gosh. I know, right? It's too soon. You guys aren't ready for it. I just, it's giving me little heart palpitations. No, mom, I think it's a great idea. 